hello guys here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today I am going to show you how to make Indian Maharashtra style green peanut chutney a little quantity of this chutney will multiply the taste of your regular food so let's see the recipe for this chutney I have taken one bowl of peanuts it's actually similar to one measurement cup and the peanuts are not from the market actually they are actually tender peanuts picked from our peanut field I am showing you the whole peanuts so that you can understand the main thing that they are not actually ripe they are tender peanuts and they are wet and I have taken the seeds out from the whole peanuts and I have taken one cup of peanuts and for this recipe I have taken half cup of garlic and green chilies according to taste and with it I have taken some fresh coriander leaves you can change the quantity of the ingredients according to your choice there is no problem here I have put a fry pan on the induction and I have turned on the heat and here I have taken the green chilies now at first we have to put a small curse on the green chilies because usually green chilies burst during the frying process so we have to put small curse on the chilies here I have prepared all of the green chilies putting curse as you can see so let's add the green chilies into the fry pan now and let's roast them a little actually green chilies have a lot of water and we don't need it so we have to dehydrate them the heat is on medium and now I am roasting them we'll roast them until some black spores on the green chilies and now you can see some black spores on the green chilies here so now we have to add the garlics here into the pan you may add garlics raw also if you really like the raw flavor of garlic but I like to roast them a little so I have added them into the fry pan with the green chilies uh, I'll roast them for two to three minutes so that the green chilies can be cooked fully and the garlic can be cooked 50% the heat is still on medium and I am roasting them until some black spots on the garlics also so let's wait for some time here you can see friends some black spots are on the garlics also and now we have to add the fresh coriander leaves here actually you may add the fresh coriander leaves raw also and actually the raw coriander leaves taste much better so you may add them raw but I am roasting them a little because I want to dehydrate them because I actually want to store this chutney for 2 to 3 days without freeze and for this reason I am roasting them a little through this roasting process we can store this chutney for 2 to 3 days without freeze and 8 to 10 days in normal refrigerator and now our spices are ready as you can see so let's take them out into a plate and let them cool down and in the same pan we have to roast the peanuts also so let's add the peanuts into the pan and roast them the heat should be on medium and we have to stir them continuously as I am doing and now they have started to split as you can hear the splitting sounds of the peanuts and now we have to let them split for uh, 1 to 2 minutes and after that we have to take them out and we have to stir them continuously of course so that they can be roasted evenly and after that we have to take them out I have taken them out into the same plate of the spices and now let's let them cool down and after that we have to blend them into a chutney now everything is in normal temperature so we have to take a mixer jar I have taken a big mixer jar because the quantity is not so small so uh, now we have to add everything into the mixer jar and after that we have to cover the jar and run the mixer for a while so I have added everything and now I am covering the jar and running the mixer for a while you can see friends that the chutney is uh, almost ready and now we have to add salt to taste I didn't add salt previously so I am adding salt here now and after adding salt we have to cover the jar again and run the mixer for another while 
I am mixing a little with a knife and now I am covering the jar and running the mixer. Now our chutney is ready as you can see friends. This chutney is very delicious to eat with any kind of Indian staple food. I mean actually Indian regular food such as roti, paratha, boiled rice with any kind of vegetables or any kind of curries. Serve a little quantity of this chutney with your regular food and you may notice the change in the taste of your food. And the recipe is also very simple to try. So try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.